It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. Ah uh, shit, day it is. Yo, what's up, guys? And talk to with you today. All right, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over some more Blackouts 4 gameplay and Blackouts 4 news, everything like that. You guys, what I think about the game, all this other type of stuff. But anyways, guys, before I get into that, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You drop that thumbs up and you comment. Let me know what you think about the video and what you guys personally think about Blackouts 4 itself. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get right into the video. Peace. Now, my first point that I want to bring to you guys in this video is everybody's complaining that Black Ops 4 is changing to Call of Duty, you know, the ways, everything like that. You know, it doesn't feel like Call of Duty anymore, everything of that sort. But what you guys got to keep in mind is that if Call of Duty, if they would keep the game the exact same every single year, this is like basically, basically off the first Modern Warfare, for instance. If they would have kept it that same exact way every single year with just updated graphics, you know, new maps, stuff like that, it, the series would have already died out and here's my point and here's my reasoning behind that because people would not want to keep playing the same exact game but just with an updated graphics like it's just nobody wants to do that because there's nothing changing there's no difference you know what I'm saying so like there's no point in just playing something that's basically just a little bit better with the picture quality but it's the exact same thing you know what I'm saying it's it, there's no point in that so my point in this and the reason why I say it's good for change is because it's basically like a fresh, a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? And so people, it's a, it's a good marketing strategy because it, it brings more people in for one because more people are wanting to try it because it's getting compared to Rainbow, it's getting compared to Destiny, it's getting compared to even to Fortnite and some people's reviews and stuff like that. It's, yeah, you know. But anyways, guys, that's my first point I want to bring up is that, you know, like they do have to make some changes. They do have to do some new techniques. Otherwise, everybody would just be like, okay, this is just another Call of Duty, you know, just with a brand new, you know, title on it, you know, like they have to change certain things about it. And, you know, I'm actually kind of glad for the change. You know, we'll all get used to it. You know, if people quit playing, you know, there's going to be more of a crowd in other ways joining. You know what I'm saying? But. Anyways guys, this game, in my opinion, I feel like it might actually be a game changer. And the reason why I say that is because, for instance, they're having a Battle Royale mode. They have never had that before. And I know so many different games are doing the Battle Royale as well. But if you think about it this way, Call of Duty's doing it with their own take on it. They're bringing back, you know, old maps like Raid, for instance, for sure. Nuketown, from what I've heard. You know, classic maps that everybody enjoys, they're bringing them back and putting them in the battle royale mode so on this whole thing you know like they're listening to, to the community to a, a point you know what i'm saying they're trying to like make change but also listen to the community at the same time now am i saying that they're doing a great job at it you know sometimes i feel like you know they're doing a subpar job but you know what i'm saying like it doesn't matter you know like this is just the beta so far you know nobody's played like the whole base game yet so you don't know what's going to change along the way, you know what I'm saying? So people making judgments off the beta alone and not the base game itself, like they don't know what kind of changes they're going to make on the base game, you know, the full exact game. So on that, you know, if if you guys like the Black Ops series, if you guys like Call of Duty, I do encourage y'all to give it a try. I do encourage y'all to like rent it, buy it, whatever you guys have to do to try it out. Just do it. Because in my opinion, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun on it. I really, really did. Now, I may have been, you know, complaining about it in some of my live streams and stuff like that. But, you know, once the actual beta ended, I was kind of sad, you know. And then I didn't want to play World War II anymore. You know, a lot of you guys, you know, watching from our World War II content. But guys, everybody who watches me, you guys know for yourself. World War II is dying. World War II does not have the same audience it once had. I don't even think World War II ever had a big just some dedicated you know people that would watch it but like it never had a huge target audience you know i feel like even infinite warfare had more views than world war ii and like that's that's something that is something to say man but you know the one thing i can kind of say is you know the black ops series have always been the top selling call of duties they always have been you know black ops 2 look at that you know at launch day they had like three million people playing the game you know like and i think for like the whole year like the whole first year they had like a constant one plus million like people playing the game so i mean you know i feel like with the black ops series they have more of a uh, more in tune depth on like the community and stuff like that and so i feel like you guys should just keep your faith up for this game and don't give up on it just yet
because in my actual opinion guys I feel like this Call of Duty will be a fresh start for everybody you know it'll bring more people back into it like I've repeated myself a few times already but guys I'm really really stoked for this Call of Duty to drop on October 12th guys I'm so stoked for it. actually I'm, I'm stoked for next month you know we get to try the new you know battle royale mode in the game you know blackout blackout game mode you know like I'm excited for the zombies you know what I'm saying like it's just there's so many things that people are being excited for for this game and like they're giving it so much hate but they're not taking in like well everybody's excited for it you know what I'm saying like I don't know man it's just people always have something to complain about when it comes to Call of Duty and stuff like that but like don't base other people's opinion on your own you know what I'm saying like make your own opinion on the game don't just like you know not buy the game because somebody's saying oh well, I didn't like it everybody has a different opinion on it you know what I'm saying but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys you know take some of my advice and i hope some of you guys you know actually do get blackouts for a try because your boy's gonna be playing that thing no matter what but anyways guys make sure you subscribe if you haven't already like i already said comment let me know what you think about the video and what you guys personally think about blackouts for itself but anyways guys hope you all enjoyed the video peace